Good morning, students and staff. It's Wednesday, the 13th of April, and time for the WBDQ Top Dog News. Please stand and join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Reporting for today are Mrs. Madeline. Ms. Harley. And Annabelle. It's time for our school announcements. Are you listening? When I say macaroni, you say cheese. Macaroni. Cheese. Macaroni. Cheese. cheese. Yum. It's birthday time. Annabelle, can you tell us who is celebrating a student birthday today? Gianna Williams in 4-3. One, two, three. Happy birthday. We also have a staff birthday today. Ms. Harley, can you give us a hint? Yes, this staff member is the pleasant voice you hear on the speakers when we have an announcement. The staff member is Mrs. Lilly in the front office. One, two, three. Happy birthday. April's character word is fairness. We would like to recognize two students who show fairness daily. Our first student is third grader Gabe Torres. Gabe is great at demonstrating fairness in the classroom and on the playground. He is kind to others and is very friendly and outgoing, even though he's relatively new to our school. He always looks out for other people and is helpful when a classmate needs something. Our second spotlight is fourth grader Colton Fisher. Colton's a big supporter of treating people justly, not letting personal feelings bias his decision about others. Colton enjoys following the rules and makes sure everyone else in the classroom are also following the rules. Whether in class or on the playground, he'll make sure the game that the group is playing or the activity is fair. So congratulations to Gabe and Colton. They'll receive ribbons today for showing good character. And April is the mother of the military child and we are thankful for our military students. We wanna share some trivia with you this month. Our guest today is fifth grader, Annabelle Slagle. Annabelle, what do you want to share with us today? What state has the highest number of U.S. military in it? California, followed by Texas, North Carolina, and Virginia. Military kids live in every single state of the United States. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, just a reminder about our PBIS incentive program, which are the paw prints that I see a lot of you getting. Um, once you receive 20 paw prints, let me know and I'll come to your classroom and we'll do the spin the wheel for the choices. They are fine dining, a bubble party, game time, a PJ day, um, and also sidewalk chalk party. We do have our first class to qualify for a party and it's first grade classroom, Mrs. Fenton. So congratulations to Ms. Fenton's class. Nice, good for them. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for watching. And now we'd like everyone to join us in saying the three Bs. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be safe. Make it a great BDQ day. We'll see you all tomorrow on the Top Dog News.